Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Manchester United career mode. It's been a while, yes, I know, been busy with other things, and now we're here. So, it is now the January transfer window. As you see there, Alfred Marshall has just gone off to Inter. January 2nd, FA Cup against Northampton. So, I'll be using my second team for this. Um, some players have obviously been loaned out uh, in last episode. Luke Shaw has gone to Dortmund, which I kind of regret now. Brad Williams on loan at Arsenal. Dean Henson is also at Dortmund. David De Gea still with us. Um, still thinking about keeping him for a bit. Alex Tellez, obviously. Um, a lot of people like by uh, Axel Twanzebe, Phil Jones. Still got Milan Skrinar and Ruben Diash. Also got uh, Aaron Bissaka. But yeah, we've got a lot of people out on loan right now. Um, still want some more out on loan. But I think we've got some exciting times ahead of us. And the first part of action, if I had been quite frank, is obviously I want to get Daniel James out of the club. And to be honest, I don't really need Herbert Lozano. Um, where's Greenwood? There he is. Hmm. But, yeah, I, I'd, Werner's been excellent this season, but I don't really want him here for much longer. Same with Herbert Lozano. But we'll have to keep him. My budget right now is 81 million. But I think we should start with uh, Northampton. We'll quick sim this, um, or replace an available player. It's Northampton, so I'm expecting maybe a win. A loss is okay, I guess. We win 3 1. Okay. That's good. So, we've still got the FA Cup on the run now, but. In this January transfer window, I'm going to try and prove some positions that we already have for the big run in the Prem. Daniel James, you're going out of the club. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Next game against Bournemouth, quick in this one as well. Maybe semi semi final, but it's not important to me. Oh, what do you want? Lee Ground, you're not getting this game. I am going to use our first team and we'll see what happens we do have West Ham next but I do want to get to a transfer bid system before that so do we win and we are into the final the EFL Cup thank you very much okay so first up on the business deals. I want another right mid. Green would be great but I want to convert to a striker for a replacement for, not a replacement for Werner but a uh, rotational for Werner. And I don't want to use Hervey Lozano because he's been kind of poor. So here's what's going to happen. Like in real life we at Manchester United are going to attempt he's not here to sign a certain player James Sancho is obviously coming to Man United in real life and I hope to try and sign him currently I do not have the funds so we need to compromise here 
So what we're going to do, we're going to try and sell some players. So, obviously before the next game, hopefully we're going to sell one player or a couple. Um, obviously wondering, I'm still the manager of England, unfortunately in real life we lost in the finals. Uh, yeah, it's a shame. A, a real fucking shame. But, I would like to say, I am proud of our England boys, and all you racist cunts out there, if you are watching this video, I have one thing to say to you, and that is fuck off. But, uh, change up the team a bit to kind of fit the schedule for this team. Um, Raheem Sterling, player at tournament for England this year. Absolutely stunning. But there is one man I do want to shout out from the England squad, and that is Jordan Pickford. He has been a fucking legend this entire tournament. <laughs> I just. No better goalkeeper right now than Jordan Pickford in Europe. He at Everton is standard, he's just average. But with England, he's a different fucking animal. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just a team that's around him is more suited to him. Definitely with Maguire and Stones. Or maybe he's just different gravy. Oh. Aaron wan 75 million. Let's negotiate this, because it could be a sale. You never know. Alright, so they want 75 mil. Let's go with 95 and a half million pounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that takes us up to 170, which would definitely get us Jadon Sancho, but we also need someone at the right back position to fill the place. And if you can't tell, we don't really have anyone. <laughs> um, yeah. So we need to find a right back and a right mid now. Um, yeah, that's take us 100, 170. And if we have a look here, Jane Sancho should be worth about 140. Uh, so that would wipe out most of our transfer budget. Maybe Jane Sancho right now isn't the greatest idea. Um, but there is someone who I want, and his name is. He's 30 years old, though. Ah. Uh, well, he killed Trippier, but he's old, so. Shit. Um, his name is. Where is he? There he is, Reese James. I don't even have his scouted. And it's going to take 12 days, so. Hmm. Uh, well, let's at least have a look at some right backs. No. Sorry, Trent, but I can't. Um, Hector Bellerin. He's, he's got no pace. Yelkad Cello. Oh, Matty Cash has been good. Um, uh, can't, I don't know who, and for some reason it's. I, I'm either very warm or very cold, and it's not really helping. Uh, Kyle Walker is 30. I can't think of who to sign at the right back. Bundesliga, maybe Joshua Kimi. Jesus Navas. Oh, Benjamin Pavard. Yeah, actually. We're going to go for Pavard. I'm going to go 25 mil. Maybe that should leave us enough budget for Jadon Sancho.
fuck off. Alright, how about 28 and a half? There we go. So we can get Pavard, and then after we sell Alan Wan Bisaka, we could also get Jaden Sancho, hopefully. Alright, so rotation, I, I want to give him an important squad role. Because he's kind of important. Uh, length, five years, acceptable offer. Three? We're having four. Right, okay. Uh, let's go with. 60k and 200,000 signing bonus. Yeah, there we go. So we've got Benjamin Pavard, who's 80 rated. Right. Good thing about him, he's actually not just stuck to one position, he can actually change it to multiple. They see he could also be a centre back. And also he's young, he may be, not be as young as Aaron Van Basaka, but he will get better as time goes on. So, Jada Sancho's coming up next, I think. Unless Aaron Van Basaka's deal breaks down, and then I am fucked, <laughs> to be quite frank with you. But next game is. West Ham United. Let's have a look at this. The forward shortlist for team at year. Ronaldo, Lewandowski, Salarin and Mbappe. Okay. So they prefer Salah over Werner and Werner's been playing a lot better. Okay. Logic in this game sometimes. Alright, we'll start Wamba Saka, but we'll bring on Pavard after playing Greenwood and the right mid. But let's get to our first game of the episode West Ham United versus Manchester United. Amid rumours that he's leaving the club, he starts today live on EA TV. Let's get this going, ladies and gentlemen. Manchester United versus West Ham at Old Trafford. I don't know why I have this on, I guess I was... Uh, turn it down, shall we? Don't need other people commentating over my shit. So here we are at Old Trafford, Man United versus West Ham United. This is it. Declan Rice and Milan Skodar leading the way out of the tunnel. I think it was fucking fun on point at the same time, but it's too cool, cold. Fucking hell. Anyways. Ooh. The best defensive team. Well, they have 15 goals against us. Not bad, not bad. But let's just get straight into this one, shall we? As Team of Werner kicks off the matchup to Bruno Fernandes. Donny van der Beek gets the ball. To Milan Skudnar, playing it back to David De Gea, playing it to Aaron Basaka, to Skudnar, Euro Tielemans now, to Timo Werner, who plays it to Bruno Fernandes, back to Timo Werner. Werner sees Greenwood on the side, makes it Greenwood, making a run for it. Oh, oh, Greenwood tried to step it in, but he couldn't. Now, Rice on the ball to Kufal. And out the ball goes to Pablo Fornals. And Aaron Wabasaka gets the ball out for a man at West Ham United throwing. Aaron Cresswell to Thomas Suchek. To Lingard. To Cresswell. To Pablo Fornals. Oh, back to Yuri Tielemans. Oh, Bruno Fernandes. To Timo Werner. Oh. Timo Werner gets a beautiful ball through to Marcus Rashford. Rashford turns his man. Rashford! 
beautiful goal by the Englishman sets off the game. Manchester United 1, West Ham 0. Beautiful play. Timo Werner, brilliant ball through the West Ham midfield and defence to Marcus Rashford, who was like a lightning bolt, turns the defender and curves it in to the middle right corner. Manchester United 1, West Ham 0. And just like that, Man United on the counter-attack. Oh, Jesse Lingard gets the ball up to Mikel Antonio. And, oh, Ruben Dias gets the ball to Greenwood. Mason Greenwood on the run here. Gets past one defender. Gets past Aaron Cresswell. And Kanji trying to come over to cover him up. But, oh, Mason Greenwood chops him. And it's out for a goal kick. Fabianski whacks the ball up the field now. Mikel Antonio gets the ball to Jack Bowen, to Declan Rice, to Kufal. Jack Bowen on the ball here. Tries to get it to Mikel Antonio, but intercepted by Alex Teller. So Rashford and Rashford on a run here. To Bruno Fernandes, to Mason Greenwood. Back over to Yuri Tielemans. Back to... Oh my god. Bruno Fernandes nearly got the ball there. But Suchek and Akanji get the ball. But Tielemans with the interception. To Bruno Fernandes. Back to Tielemans. To... Fucking back to Bruno Fernandes. And it's a goal. 2-0 to Manchester United. In this game. Against the poorly... A low morale... Paul West Ham right now. Their defence is not doing much. Their attack is deadly, but their defence is not helping them out here. It's Man United 2 0 as West Ham start the play again. Jesse Lingard, obviously, still a Manchester United man, but on out at low to West Ham. As Aaron Cresswell whips the ball in, and De Gea gets the ball out. Declan Rice to Jesse Lingard to Suchek. To Jesse Lingard, you're at the elements here. To Rashford, Marcus Rashford on the run. Marcus Rashford has a beautiful play down the side. No one can catch up to him here. Rashford just oh turns his man. Sees Donny van der Beek to Alex Tellez. You're at the elements here. Oh to Bruno Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez. Oh my God, what a save by Fabianski. That's Bruno Fernandes with a beautiful shot from outside the box. Just misses the post. Bruno Fernandes crosses it to the outside of the box to Greenwood. To Yuri Elmers. Yuri Tielemans tries to shoot it, but very poor finishing there by the young Belgian. Oh, Bruno Fernandes intercepts Pablo Fernandes. Yes, it's Aaron Wan Bissaka. This could be Aaron Wan Bissaka's last game at United as Mason Greenwood get the ball to Timo Werner and it's 3 0 to Manchester United. Beautiful play, and Timo Werner is the man to finish the job. Great ball by Mason Greenwood to. Timo Werner and he shoots it past Lucas Fabianski his 19th goal in the Prem but it's one of the easiest ones he's had this season as it's Man United 3 West Ham 0 and this is what I'm hoping for Man United next season or this season coming up just domination right now because oh, Jadon Sancho Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford and Edison Cavani or Greenwood. That is a deadly front four. Oh, Marcus Rashford. Oh, Jack Bowen tackles the ball and it's a Man United throw in. Rashford gets it to Alex Tellez. 
to Milan Square. Now, can he get the ball? Oh, too much of a heavy touch pass there by Rafa, by Alex Tellez. Oh, beautiful chip over to Declan Rice. Rice just absolutely floored by Ruben Dias. Oh, and Ruben Dias gets the ball. Rashford turns his man. He's got free air here. Declan Rice trying to get to him. So Scott Dawson. But Marcus Rashford turns his man. Rashford! And it's straight at the goalkeeper. By the English target man. But Ruben Dias hits the ball up. And Dawson gets the ball down to Declan Rice. Last moments of the first half. Akanji to Zuchek and Van der Beek with a ball here and it is half time. Man United dominating the field right now. So you know what, I'm going to make a couple of changes. Can ease the pressure off a little bit. Van der Beek can come off for Graven Birch and we will give Benjamin Pavard his debut. And also, let's let's give Ahmad Diallo a bit of time, shall we? So all three subs in the second uh, start of the second half. As West Ham kicked it off, Declan Rice on the ball here. Oh, tries to get it over, but Ahmad Diallo can he get to it? And he does. Benjamin Pavard, his first touches of the ball as a Manchester United player. Give it him. Oh, tries to hit it out, but Ahmad Diallo gets the ball safely. Pass it to Graven Birch. Ryan Graven Birch. Did you see Pavard's run? He try he does it, but it tries to get to Werner instead. But it's intercepted. Oh, Alex Tellez with a beautiful deflection as Rashford on the ball. And it's, that's a free kick, surely. And then we've got Alex Tellez to Pavard. Try to accept it, but it goes to Bruno Fernandes. To Ryan Gravenberch. To Timo Werner. And it just goes straight off the defence. Kufar gets it to Declan Rice, who tries to get over to Jesse Lingard. To Mikel Antonio. To Jesse Lingard. Oh, Jesse Oh, Jesse Lingard could have got it through, but the brick walls of Milan Squadar and Ruben Diash are too powerful here. The team of Werner can he get over to Amad No, too powerful for ball. Lucas Fabianski kicks it up, but Benjamin Pavard, beautiful head. Graven Birch to Ruben but Bruno Fernandes. Oh, Amad Diallo gets it past Cresswell, but he hasn't lost him yet. Turns his man, gets it to Ryan Graven Birch, to Yuri Tielemans, to Bruno Fernandes, to Amad Diallo, back to Benjamin Pavard. Skrinar to Tielemans, to Bruno Fernandes. Oh, tries to get it to. Timo Werner, but just misses the target. And to Graven Birch with beautiful interception. Timo Werner gets it past one. Gets it to Rashford. Rashford chips it up. And Werner just misses it. Oh, Alex Tellez stops Bowen from getting the ball. And it is a Manchester United throw in. As Jesse Lingard is being taken off for Sergi Darda. Obviously, Jesse Lingard's had a bit of a lacklustre performance so far. As Alex Tellers gets it to Telemans, to Ruben Dias, to Milan Skodar. Heavy pass to Benjamin Pavard. Oh, Graven Birch tries to get the ball, but Cresswell and Suchek are on form there, and it's out for a Manchester United from it again. Benjamin Pavard gets it to Graven Birch, to Timo Werner, Werner to Rashford, Rashford turns it to man, Marcus Rashford! Beautiful top right finish, that could not be any more top right, and it's Rashford's second goal of the game.
Manchester United are leading 4-0. Beautiful finish. Werner again spots Rashford. Rashford turns Dawson. And that could not be more. Top. Right. Marcus Rashford with his eighth goal in the Premier League. It's Manchester United 4. West Ham 0. So he's done with the ball, but Bruno Fernandes tries to get it off him. He's still on the ball though. Oh, Timo Werner tries to Jack Bowen on the side. Gets Sergio Dada to Mikel Antonio. Oh, and Ruben Dias gets the ball to Bruno Fernandes. Can he get it up to Timo Werner? No. Too heavy of a pass there, but Amad Diallo intercepts the ball. Going on the run, the youngster. I think this is third appearance for the Manchester United team this season. Abad Diallo gets it in. Oof. Just misses the target there at Timo Werner's feet. At an offence. Intercepts his ball. Oh, Sergi Dada on the ball, but Pavard gets it back off him. Milan Renard to Ryan Ravenbirch to Bruno Fernandes. Sees Rashford out wide. Rashford just positioned himself so good this game. Oh, flip flop. Oh my god. Marcus Rashford. Absolutely deserving of that goal. Absolutely brilliant by Rashford. Turns his man, double flip flap around Declan Rice. Tucks it in, bottom corner. Manchester United 5, West Ham 0. Rashford already with a hat trick. He's been on form so far today. Another interception. Bruno Fernandes. Vice Rashford again. Oh, Roulette gets it past his man. They can't stop Rashford today. Oh my god. Rashford to Tielemans. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to make skill moves today. But I can because we're already at lead. Oh. Oh, De Gea with a beautiful deflection. Yuri Tillemans now to Graven Birch. Oh my god. And that is the game. I think we've just seen the best goal of the series in this game. Marcus Rashford. With the performance of a lifetime. What a goal. Let's have a look at that goal once more because he just gets past his defender. Flip flap to Declan Rice twice and bottom right corner. But into post match interview now. Let's see what they have to say about Marcus Rashford because obviously he's going to be the talk of the town today. So here we are. Well, Benjamin Favard obviously did do his greatest job today. He did what he needs to do as a defender. But, yeah. Rashford. Brilliant game. But after that 5-0 win of West Ham, we are still two points behind Liverpool. And we've got to get back in front. Great start to the Premier League in January. Obviously, New Year, New Leaf. Timo Werner still the top goal scorer with 19. Closely followed by Sadio Mane, Raheem Sterling, Jamie Vardy and Daniel Podence.
Chelsea versus Man City on the 10th. Interesting. Bruno Fernandes has been the most consistent player in our team this season. Oh, sir. And Arouan Basaka is confirmed to be sold. And here we have our monthly scouting reports. Let's have a look at these, shall we? Uh, ooh, yep, sign him. Uh, no, none of those. And uh, finally, ooh, yes, please. Uh, anyone else? No. So that's all of them. But finally, ladies and gentlemen, we are able to have the funds to sign Jadon, sorry, Jaden Sancho. There we go, kind of swipe it a bit more. Oh. No, I can't. Um, Let's just get Jaden Sancho for 144 mil, hopefully. If they want more, they can piss off. £143 mil. 176 and a salon clause. Forty-three and seventeen percent on clause. Sorry, I can't. Eighteen percent on clause. No. I'm taking it to buy a fucking price, alright? I ain't budget either. Ah, oh, take some time to assess it, will you? Fuck it up. I see what Ed Woodward's all fucking about. Fucking hell. Okay, so next up we have Leicester again. Last time we played them, it was a draw, so. Got some tournament prize money and David De Gea transfer offer. Alright, let's go into negotiations for this. Because I did want to bring. I did want Dean Henson to have a bit more of a prolific. Per prolific role in the squad. How about 60? There we go. And now, if that goes through, we'll bring back the Henson from loan and we'll definitely have the funds to get Jada Sancho. I'm a smart boy. Alright. He's still 81 rated. But he's young. How much will it cost us? 1.5 million. Not yet. You've got a fucking loan, mate. You're retiring at the end of the season. Alright, good for you. Um, Alright. I'm hoping we get the De Gea done, deal done before okay I'm just looking at options so the Jaden Sancho offer 
these terms might be more appropriate. 175 million. I'm going to have to negotiate this. 145 mil, 20% solid applause. More suitable? Yes. Yep, and. Uh, that's all could really offer right now. Alright, 100 white I'm literally paying double what Man United paid in real life. This is much I could offer. They're just, they're, they're just being. Oh my god! I'm not even gonna be able to get fucking jaded. I, I can't, I can't have like that. I can't do it. You can't offer that much for him. <sighs> Fuck's sake. That's fucking low balls like that, huh? <sighs> Irvin, you're even lucky to be here, so... <sighs> Got bigger games coming up. Fuck, fuck it, sir. But we're gonna quick sim this game because last time we played against Leicester I didn't do well, so quick sim, please win. There we go, Freedel, Verna, Rashford, Verna. What I expected, so Verna's now on 21 goals, Rashford is on 9, I think. But Verna's just stalled away with the golden boot right now. We're only in January. You need more games. You need more games. Well, I can't fucking sell you, mate. You could be more happy with my fucking macha ass, right? The hay is now sold. Alright. We'll go back in for Sancho in a minute. But first off, we need to reinstate our uh, goalkeeper, Dean Henderson. There we go. Right. Dean Henson's going to go on goal for the rest of the season. Welcome back, Dino. And we'll see how he does. If he's not good, I'll maybe buy a pick for... <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking... I'm fucking with this. Uh, no. Yeah, obviously. Um, let's see if we can get Sancho again. Or if we can't for another week, then fuck me. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've got a game against Liverpool, and I want to spend all the money I have. Well, not all of it, most of it. Yeah. We're just going to go into the Liverpool game with this, so. The big get. Oh, wait, hold on. I think Liverpool drew. I think Liverpool lost the game. Who'd they lose against? Oh, the jury against Arsenal. Right. Interesting. Leicester City accepted offer for James Madison. Right, Reese James is right, Daniel James, here we go. Um let's negotiate real quick. Oh twenty mil. And if they don't give me twenty mil, they can that. Fuck off. That's all I'm saying. Nope. Tell you about him. Do I look like an idiot to you? You want him? Tell you Oh, fuck you then, mate. So it goes. Captain Sif Liverpool, you want Rudolph Fernandes to be the captain. Okay. I thought it was captain anyways, so uh 
Bruno Fernandes is captain. Everything's Bruno Fernandes. Uh, alright. Yeah. Long free kicks. I'm going to give it to Diash. No way, actually. Alex Tellez. Uh, this for a right foot, yeah. Uh, Yeah, we'll go Greenwood for that. Uh, corners. We'll just keep that like that for now. But, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. The big game. Manchester United versus Liverpool is next. But first, we have to go to a press conference. We've pulled out some great results recently in the chance for UA for Champions League qualification. Can this squad get you over the line? We'll keep pushing for sure. I'm confident we'll keep chasing qualification for the rest of the season. Heck, even the title. Alright, can Manchester United defeat Liverpool again? These players are winners, and I hope they'll show that again here today against Liverpool. Fantastic performance and a resounding win in your previous match. Hoping head to the game against your rivals Liverpool. Do you think your boys have now have a psychological advantage? We were excellent and I'm sure the opposition will treat us with plenty of respect now after that performance last time. Like all the questions, let's go and beat Liverpool. The big rivalry. You may say Man City versus Man United is bigger, but none have more mis historical greatness than this. Wait, where am I sitting? May 7th. They are underperforming to shit. Uh, let me guess. Southampton, Fulham and West Brom are in the relegation zone. Gotcha. Alright. Let's go out and get a win, shall we? For the club and for the people. Is that the squad I want to run with? Are they playing Joe Gomez in midfield? Okay, <laughs> yes. Alright, let's get right into this game, ladies and gentlemen. Well, just while we're waiting for the game to load up, Dean Henderson's doing some training. Right now he's doing shit. There we go. No one to pick for the chosen of you, mate. Come on. Alright, let's get into this game, shall we? Timo Werner, 21 goals this season, and we're not even at the end of January. This could be a big game, depending on who wins and who loses. At the great stadium of Old Trafford. Jordan Henderson leading out the Liverpool team whilst Bruno Fernandes leads out the Manchester United team. Both teams are drawn up 56 points. Connected goals 36 for Team Alberta. Fair enough. Right, team Alberta has been absolutely brilliant this season for Man United. But so has that man, Bruno Fernandes. He has been clinical in getting the goals and the assists for the team. But here we go. The great derby of the two most historic teams in Premier League's history. Manchester United. 20 time Premier League champions against Liverpool. I think they're also 20. Pause.
Liverpool have won 19. As they are playing Joe Gomez and Fred in the midfield. Fred, obviously, current by United players out alone, but let the games begin. Manchester United versus Liverpool. Pavard to Mason Greenwood, can Mason Greenwood go run, but Fred intercepts the ball to Sadio Mane. Bobby Firmino now to Dean Hen Jordan Henderson. Oh, Fabinho loses the ball, he slips on his arse like Steven Gerrard. Timo Werner to Bruno Fernandes. And it's Man United leading 1-0 to Liverpool. Brilliant start by the Manchester boys. Manchester bleeding red right now. Fuck the blue blood. The red blood is where it is. As Man United lead 1-0 within 5 minutes. Go go back to Bobby Firmino now. Oh, Salah on the ball. Obviously in contention for full uh, for forward of the year over Sadio Mane who I think has actually been performing better on oh, Timo Werner tries to find Van der Beek but Van Dijk gets the ball Roberto Firmino now to Fred to Firmino back to Fred Roberto Dias with the inception to Timo Werner gets out to Rashford Rashford on a run here Marcus Rashford oh here we go, Rashford to Alex Tellez. Back to Timo Werner. Oh my god. Tellemans to Van der Beek. Donny Van der Beek tries it. But misses. Great attempt by the young Dutchman. James Al Not James Allison. Allison Becker gets it to the defence to Joe Gomez and Tillemans gets the ball out for a Liverpool throw in. Oof. And it's out again for a Manchester United throw in. And what the fuck was that, Rashford? Roberto Firmino on the ball now. To Fred. To Sadio Mane. Back to Roberto Firmino, but it's back heel, gets it right into the hands of Ruben Dias. Chelmans, can he find Rashford on the run? He does. Oh my god. Why do I keep holding RB when I try to do a skill? I'm stupid. Oh, Roberto Firmino is through. Can Milan Skrinar stop him? Oh, Milan Skrinar delays Roberto Firmino long enough. Distracts him and Roberto Firmino skies it. Henderson to Ruben Dias. Back to Ruben Dias. To Bruno Fernandes. Oh, Van Dijk stops the ball. Joe Gomez. Back to Van Dijk. To Jordan Henderson. To Fred. To Bobby Firmino. And Ruben Dias gets the ball. Oh, Bruno Fernandes to Timo Werner Werner can he find anyone in the box no and it's out for a Manchester United corner can Bruno Fernandes pick out anyone in the box here oh it looks like he's going to go at the head of Timo Werner but it's out again for another corner into box now Werner can he get in on it Oh my god! Pavard messes up the shot. And it's into the hands of Allison. As Fabinho gets it to Robertson. Roberto Firmino gets it over to Sadio Mane, but it's out for a Manchester United throw in. Pavard gets it to Greenwood. But Fred intercepts on the run. Gets it to Sadio Mane. Oh, Pavard gets the ball off him. And Greenwood. No, Robertson. On the ball. 
tries to turn Pavard, but Pavard gets out for a corner kick. The little the Merseyside fans going absolutely electric right now as Man United head it out. Outside of Arnold on the ball. Try to get past Tellez, but nothing happens. Joe Gomez misses the goal. Dean Henderson here to Milan Squinar, to Ruben Dias, to Dean Henderson, back to Milan Squinar, over to Yuri Tielemans. Uh, Rashford, oh, with a Rabona pass to Alex Tellez. Tellez gets it to Bruno Fernandes. And it's hit off Virgil van Dijk for another corner kick. Swipped in. Timo Werner gets hands on it. No, Allison gets it. And here we go, Yuri Tielemans. Timo Werner! And it's off side. The German was too far up the field. So close, yet so far. It's a free kick for Liverpool. Oh, Robert Firmino. Oh, there we go. Tellers gets to Rashford. Rashford is in clear air right now, but Firmino tries to get to him. Rashford is through. Rashford gets it to Bruno Fernandes. Werner! And it's in! It's another offside! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Timo Werner and offsides today are just hand in hand. Oh my god, that was so close, sir. Oh my god. Allison kicks it up. Three minutes of extra time. What a ball! Sadio, oh, and it's out for a throw in to United. Van der Beek to Bruno Fernandes to Yuri Tielemans. Can you find Alex Tellens? No! Oh my god, Virgil van Dijk gets the ball, but Werner on the floor. Oh, Rashford on the ball, and it's half time! As by United were trying to go on the attack. Great first half from United boys, but it's only 1-0. One run from Sadio Mane could ruin the entire game for United here. As we start up the second half. Oh, Bobby Firmino gets over to Mo Salah, but it's offside. Marcus Rashford turns Salah. Going to try and get Pat Arnold. Oh, roulette from Rashford. Another one. Rashford moving a bit like Ronaldo right now. Gets it to Tellez. Alex Tellez whips it in for Werner. But Timo Werner misses the ball. He gets the touch, but it's too heavy. And it's now out to Liverpool defence. Again, it's Jordan Henderson to Roberto Firmino. Oh. And this is what I was talking about, the run from Sadio Mane. Benjamin Pavard. Just not there. Sadio Mane. With the, the footwork there, but Milan's going to get it out for a corner. Could this be it? The equaliser? No. Ruben Dias gets it out, but it's still in Liverpool's possession. Joe Gomez on the ball. There we go. Van der Beek gets to Rashford to Werner. Werner's on the run. Timo Werner, could this be it? Can anyone catch him? Does it look like it? And Timo Werner. Absolutely sends it down the inside of Allison to make it 2-0 to Manchester United. And to prove to the Premier League why he is the top goal scorer. The pace, the clinical finishing and the precise finish by Timo Werner his 22nd goal in the Prem Manchester United 2-0 Joe 
Gomez on the ball, but it's intercepted by Van der Beek to Werner. Oh, Bruno Fernandes with a beautiful ball to Timo. Werner! Oh my god! The counter attack by the Manchester United boys! The four men who, in my opinion, have been the best players this season Van der Beek, Bruno Fernandes. Timo Werner and Marcus Rashford celebrating as Timo Werner curls it into the top left corner. Sorry, top right there, top left. Manchester United leading 3-0 over Liverpool who have just had a drastic poor game today. Bobby Firmino to Mo Salah. Back to Joe Gomez, Rashford. On the ball, gets it past Alexander Arnold. Rashford on the run. Rashford! Um, why did I try that? I don't know why, but it really worked. It looks like Liverpool are making all three changes Ginter, Cater, and Devokarigi on the field. Taking off Van Dyke. This is what I guess this is what happens when Liverpool don't rest the players properly. They're easy to get past, and they're easy to defeat. A full fit Liverpool could have stayed in this game here, but they're just not at their best today. They're probably at like 90% peak, not 100, but Sadio Mane. Again, on the inside, and Henderson with the brilliant, prolific save that we needed. Even though it was going out anyways. Taking off Yuri Kellermans for Graven Birch as Liverpool whipping a corner. Oh, it's headed. And Henderson gets the ball. And it's a free kick. Or offside. I don't know which one it is. It's both. So... Oh, Graven Birch loses the ball to Thiago. Over to Trent Alexander Arnold. Oh, what a beautiful ball, but it's going to be out. Oh, Sadio Mane kept it in with his shoulder. Oh, a Pavard. Beautiful, and it's out for a Manchester United throw in to Benjamin Pavard. Fred on the ball gets it into Vokarigi. And it's missed. Divo Carigi with the best chance that Liverpool have had in the game misses as Rashford turns Alexander Arnold and he's on the run. Could this be it? Jordan Henson's too tired to catch up with the Englishman. Oh, Rashford, can he get it through? Rashford just with a pinpoint, but too greedy with the ball. That's my bad. Mo Salah on the ball right now to Alexander Arnold to Ginter Thiago Graven Birch gets the ball Rashford to Timo Werner he finds Bruno Fernandes no Divokarigi on the ball here to Thiago oh my god there we go Ruben Diaz gets the ball Squinar to Graven Birch to Bruno Fernandes can Rashford get the ball he's on it this is Rashford at his best on rivalry day Marcus Rashford could beat anyone and he does Alison Becker is defeated by Marcus Rashford in between the sticks and Rashford gets another player of the episode maybe Marcus Rashford absolutely but we're going to bring on Herman Lozano for a bit. Give Rashford a bit of a break. Even with a couple of minutes left. It's always good <coughs> to switch out your players a bit. Man United are leading 4 0. Jordan Henson gets it out to Andrew Robertson. To Thiago here. Oof. Mohamed Salah. To Trent Alexander Arnold, but 
Alex Tellez with the run to Timo Werner. Werner! Saved by Allison. I honestly thought Werner was offside then. Here we go. Bruno Fernandes calling for Donny van der Beek to come to him. Here we go. Mason Greenwood on the ball here. And Mason Greenwood is through! And another save by Allison. Mason Greenwood could have scored his first ever rivalry goal against Liverpool. But Allison just too clinical in the sticks right now. Bruno Fernandes gets to Van der Beek. And the ref calls for full time. And Manchester United defeat their rivals. And get a three point gap to Liverpool in the Premier League. As the Manchester United side defeat a tired Liverpool 4 0. Honestly, Liverpool just didn't know how to cope with Man United today. And they didn't know how to cope with a fully fit Man United against a Liverpool that just weren't there in fitness and they just weren't there in the game. The occasion just got to them, I'm presuming. But, brilliant game by the United lads get the interview over and then that will be the end of this episode ladies and gentlemen Just here we go headlines we've got Werner yep yeah. he's been good he's been good yeah we've pressed Liverpool to the brink just to that little point, not not just before they give up, just right before then, right before they give up, and then snatch the goals away from them and put them in their own net. I'm happy with the game to give them, boss. I expect more from you. Improve your game and exceed my expectations, which my expectations for you are a bit high. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's episode. But in the next episode, with the funds that we now have, 199 million, we will sign Jaden Sancho. Can't sign him yet, but we will next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all take care, and peace.